Well, here's a close-up of the pulley up on the top. And we got the ball that goes through the center here. So you got to take out three screws, put the ball in here. <laughs> Let's see if just some... Uh, probably when I put the hooks on there, I'm probably just going to put an overhand knot and secure the hook with that. It'll work. Uh, and I tried lifting up the pole um, by myself. She's a little bit bent in here. <laughs> I'm going to leave it like this forever. Uh, it seems like I can lift it up myself, no problem. But I want to put some uh, paracord on it to steady it. I also got to get going to this car show here freaking soon. Okay, this is the ball, and you can see it goes right through the middle of that plastic, um, you know, truck, revolving truck on the top, the, you know, the pulley, whatever you would call it. So there's a hole right in the middle of it. So you got to take the three screws out from the plastic truck onto the fire from the fiberglass, and then uh, just bolt this in here. I'm going to probably put a little Loctite blue on there or something, you know, so don't, I don't think it'll unscrew, but just to make sure. Okay, you don't need to take this off. <laughs> This uh, just screws into here, and this just screws into here. Just hand tighten it, and then uh, tighten down a locking nut over that, and that's it. Now I'm going to mark the midsection of the rope right here. You know, that's about the midsection, right? And I'm going to install these hooks just with an overhand nut. So. Okay, just installed it with an overhand knot. I mean, that'll work if that's right or wrong, but it's, it'll still work fine. Anyway, now to get the damn pole up here real quick. Well, it might be too damn heavy for me to get it up myself, because it's not, you know, if you're doing a 25-footer, 40, even in fiberglass, it's, it's just too uh, shaky. Uh, what I might do, because I won't be able to work on it tomorrow, I'm going to a car show tonight, today, and what I might do is get the rope come along and try to attach it up there somehow, but then I'd have to have a way to slide the rope down, which I'm thinking I'll attach two smaller ropes to it and around a loop so I can pull it down one corner at a time, because that'll be way too high to reach on a ladder. This is not something to rush. <laughs> I put that underneath there for now, um, but you know I've always found that uh, people freaking even help you freaking yo-yos, man. You know, most of the time, most of the time you can't rely on anybody anyway. So for now, we're uh, working on it, <laughs> but I can't do nothing tomorrow. That might be. Uh, I got to go to the car show here pretty soon. So, hell with this shit for now. So, <laughs> what I could do tonight too is cut all that stuff up for the trash. Because I got to do other stuff too besides all this junk. And this, <clears throat> hell, you're. Might as well put it over in the fence here. Too big. <laughs> yeah. Just like I learned in the Marine Corps, which I don't want to brag about at least, there's only the few of the few. They only ain't the few, I guarantee you that. Some are really, really good. There's a lot of freaking garbage, man. It's a governmental employee agency today. But if you throw them in the freaking quagmire, sink or swim, so. And then uh, Madison Avenue can keep keep pushing your garbage, if you know what I mean. So. Uh, I do have a rope come along with a 100 foot of rope. That's not like this stuff. You know, you wouldn't want to pull it from the top there to halyard, man. Plus, I think I want to get a couple more uh, lines on this thing. 
side to side and stuff and a lot of the crap. We should just move this ladder. God damn it, God. Oh, fucking A. I don't believe that. It's one side. Yeah. There you go. So, of course, now it's all hooked around there. <laughs> Dumbass. That'll work. Let me get that out of here. Let's stay it. So, and I took most of that bow out of here with that support. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Should move this up just a hair more. I don't think that would matter because it just flex back, but if you left it there for months, it would. But uh, the sucker is, it's only like 100 pounds, but it's really, really unwieldy and heavy as you're putting it up. This thing, this hinge is not like rock solid or nothing. You know, if it was on a real rock solid hinge, which I might do is tighten up this bolt. I gotta think this out better before I freaking can continue on. And I got I gotta go to that car show and I got stuff for tomorrow so that I can't be playing with this tomorrow. But gonna say.